Hey guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about some brand new affordable palettes that I've just gotten recently and a few that I actually haven't gotten yet, but I want to show you guys because I think they're really exciting. But before we jump in, I just want to quickly let you know that as of the time that you're watching this, I'm going to be on vacation. So I'm not really going to be uploading uh, this coming week or probably next Sunday either. So just wanted to let you know in case you're wondering where I am. So why don't we go ahead and just jump right in quickly and we'll start with a couple of brand new 10 pan wet and wild palettes. I don't actually have these yet I can't find them I've looked everywhere but so far they're not in my area but a few of you guys did send me photos of them on Instagram so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures up right here if you follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen them but they're part of a new Halloween display and so far I've only heard of them being at Rite Aid stores I haven't heard about them showing up at Walgreens or CVS or anywhere else yet so the first one I'm gonna show you is called the Boo Crew and it has like these really beautiful blues and greens I was really excited when I saw this one I feel like this one is right on trend for sure and then the next one is Coffin Break. I love the names of these two. They're perfect for Halloween. This one's a little bit more of like a warmer tone palette. And then the last one's called In the Smoke. And this one has like reds and grays. It's definitely more of a unique color scheme, very cool toned. I know a lot of you guys were saying on Instagram that you really were excited about this one in particular. So those are just some that I wanted to show you. Also, I want to talk about a new e.l.f. palette that you guys have been spotting at your Target stores. I think it's already available on their website actually, um, but I went to Target. I couldn't find it. It's called the Earth and Ocean palette. This one again looks so beautiful. It has those blues and greens but it's a little bit more muted which I really love. I feel like this is going to be a really wearable option. It has a lot of neutrals mixed in as well and like I said those blues and greens are just so subtle and so pretty so very excited to find this one as well. I haven't found it yet and I did also post this on Instagram and Elf Cosmetics had responded to me and said that it was officially going to be in stores 825 so I guess some targets are just putting it out a little bit early. I'm hoping that while I'm away in Pennsylvania, there's a Target nearby, so I'm probably going to hit that up at some point and just see if I can find it over there, but so far my Target doesn't have it. All right, so moving on to the palettes that I do have. The first one I want to show you is the new Mirage palette from Profusion. They sent this over to me early. I believe they were debuting it at Beautycon, but it's going to be available on their website. I believe it was supposed to hit their website August 17th, and it's also going to be in every Walmart store that carries Profusion. Sadly, mine does not. So I'm just going to show you this up close so you can see what it looks like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It definitely has those warm tones, but also the pinks and purples. I love all the variety that's in here. Here you have golds and bronzes and a few pops of bright color. It also has three pressed glitters in here, which is really cool as well. And I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today and I did pop one of the glitters on. I hardly ever wear glitter, but I just thought it'd be something fun. And I can just quickly show you the shades that I'm wearing. So I put this um, kind of mauve shade in my crease and then I put this really pretty pink on my lid, this pink shimmer. And then I use this purple in the outer corner and also line underneath my eyes with it. And then I use this glitter up here, which is really beautiful. So let me go ahead and show you some swatches and they didn't all fit on my arm at once So first you're gonna see the top couple of rows. This one is mostly neutrals You have those bronzes and golds and browns and then here's the bottom couple of rows This one has the brighter shades in it the pinks the purples the really rich colors really beautiful So I'll put them side by side this way You can see the entire palette swatched all together and actually as I was swatching this palette and playing with it I realized it reminded me of a couple of different palettes one being the ColourPop Here Comes the Sun palette. And actually they're really close. I'll show you side by side what they look like together. When I actually put them side by side, I was really surprised. I mean, I knew that it kind of reminded me of it, but when I saw them together, I was definitely wowed by that. Um, the ColourPop one is $40 and it's no longer available on their site. I don't know if they're gonna be bringing it back. I feel like it was kind of a summertime limited edition kind of thing. And Profusion palettes of this size are normally $13. So I think it's a really good deal. I don't quite love Profusion's formula as much as I love ColourPop, but for the price, it is outstanding. It's amazing. I think their mattes are so pigmented, super easy to blend, and the shimmer shades in this one really surprised me. I feel like they kind of sometimes are hit and miss, but none of the shimmers that I tried in this palette felt like that flaky texture. They all felt very rich and buttery. I think they did an awesome job on this one. So I think if you missed out on this one, this palette is almost identical. Another one it really reminded me of is Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. Um, so I'll show you these two side by side so you can see what it looks like. I think the Sunrise palette has those two pops of yellow. It has the bright yellow and then that mustardy one. 
which the Profusion one doesn't have, but it definitely has the same vibe going on. And several of the shades in here are dupes for each other. So again, if you missed out on this one or it's not in your budget, it is $65. I think this is another great alternative. Though I'd love to hear from you guys if you are planning to purchase this one, if you've seen it already anywhere, or if you're planning to skip it. And then next up, this is another one that I got several DMs about on Instagram. This is the new Rimmel Magnifies Reloaded Edition. And when I first saw this, I was like, this isn't a new palette. I've seen this one before because I was looking mainly at this pop of blue right here but I was thinking about their color edition and I think this is supposed to be a revamped version of it so instead of all these deep smoky colors at the end you have kind of more neutral so let me just show it to you up close so you can see what the shades look like um, this one is definitely more on the lighter side there's a lot of really light shades in here I don't think it's gonna work super well if you have a deeper skin tone on me all of these colors will work but even so I'm still not crazy about how many really light shades there are in this palette and because of that it's really lacking depth you have these really light shades and mid-tones but no deep smoky shades like in the original however I felt like the original one was a little bit too dark and smoky um, and then most of the matte shades in this one were down this end of the palette and all of these were shimmery shades so I like that they included more usable mattes in this palette like I, and when I say usable I mean for the crease because these were all like a little too dark for me to use in my crease so this one has a couple of additional crease shades that this one doesn't have but this one was kind of too dark over Overall, this one is a little bit too light overall so I don't know I'll show them to you side by side so you can see there are actually some identical shades in both palettes six of the shades in here are pretty much spot-on dupes for each other so I'll show you what that looks like you can see side by side they're exactly the same and then I'll show you the rest of the palettes the new one is the top set of swatches and then the older one is the bottom set so even though I feel like this new one addresses some of the problems in the older one I think it creates its own set of problems just by putting too many light shades in here I wish they would have swapped out maybe two of them for deeper shades like this one had and then it would be perfect but I also kind of feel like if you have this one already you have at least half the shades in this palette so do you really need it? I don't know. And then next up, I just wanted to talk quickly about the California Love palette from ColourPop. I know this one's been out a while. It's not really new at this point, but I never really talked about it here on my channel. So I just wanted to show you quickly some swatches and just talk a little bit about it now that I've had a chance to finally use it. And this has become one of my favorite ColourPop palettes just because it's warm tones, but it's not like those super deep rich warm tones like the deeper reds and the super dark browns you do have one dark brown in here but for the most part I think this is a warm palette that's friendly towards like fair to light skin tones like mine for sure and of course I love Colourpop's formula so I'll go ahead and show you some swatches of this palette I think it's just again such a good balanced palette Colourpop does a great job at including you know your light shades your mid-tone transition shades and then some deeper shades as well for your outer corner it has a good mix of matte and shimmer shades it even has a pressed glitter as well again not my favorite not something that I use all the time but I think with this palette it works and I've been making some really beautiful looks with this palette as well I think it's kind of similar in a way to the double entendre palette but just a little bit warmer but anyway I'd love to hear from you guys down below if you have this palette what do you think of it have you been using it I don't know I think it's awesome I know a lot of people are bored with neutral palettes but when I see a neutral palette I get really really excited because I just love them I use them so often and then next up I got these two palettes from a brand called Focalore or Focalore I'm not quite sure how you say it um, they are based over in China and they had reached out to me a few weeks back via email and asked if I could do a video for them and that they would send me some palettes and I wasn't too comfortable with that because I hadn't heard of them and never tried anything from them before and I just don't like to do sponsored type videos unless it's a brand that I already know and love and would recommend to you guys anyway so I politely declined but then I ended up going to their website anyway just to check them out and I saw a couple of really beautiful palettes that I was interested in and I'd also looked at their Instagram and these two right here that I got seem to be very popular a lot of people posting looks with them and things like that so I grabbed the secret palette and the sweet as honey palette and one thing that I thought was interesting when they came first of all they shipped from China it took a little longer than normal I would say probably like 10 days to get these so it wasn't fast shipping but I think I did get free shipping because I spent over a certain amount but I have to say they were packaged so well the bubble wrap was like this thick on one side it was like the thickest bubble wrap I've ever seen they were kind of in like a giant pillow of bubble wrap so that was awesome because that's one fear that I have ordering internationally is that they're gonna show up broken and then they're really hard to get replaced um, but they were packaged really well and then also each palette comes in its own separate box and it was shrink wrapped with clear plastic and on the outside I noticed 
noticed that they had like a little sticker that basically said scratch this off and then you can see whether this is an authentic product or not and that kind of struck me as odd because you know I guess because I don't know a lot about this brand I wasn't sure if maybe that meant that there are people who are knocking off this brand and then it made me think of something that the person who I was emailing with had told me which basically she said um, in the video we would want you to put like the link to our official site and please use this link not other ones and then I did a Google search and I came up with other sites that said Focalore so I'm thinking maybe they're having an issue with people counterfeiting their products or something I don't know but I ordered from the official website that she told me about. I've seen them on Amazon too, but again, I'm not sure if they're like legit, but I was very impressed with just how everything was packaged. Um, the quality of, you know, just the packaging in general for affordable palettes, it was pretty good. These are made in China, but I also didn't notice any kind of like, you know, sometimes when you order more affordable cosmetics, like they have a weird, funky, like chemical smell. These don't smell like anything. They're cruelty free. They have a 24 month expiration date, which is stamped on the back as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the palettes. I want to show you these because they're so pretty. So here's a look at the Secret palette and it's like a beautiful blue-green palette. So I'll read you the description that they have on it. It says this nine pan palette with nine richly pigmented shadows in every shade of green. It's easy to create the perfect monochromatic look. Think contemporary mint and olive or opt for timelessly glamorous emerald and forest green. Take your look to the next level with these five duochrome shimmers and four mattes. So again, I wasn't knowing what to expect when I tried these out, but I was pleasantly surprised by the formula. The matte shades hardly have any fallout. They're really pressed nicely. They're not super, you know, overly powdery. The pigmentation is definitely there. Also, the shimmer shades almost feel like a cream. They are so buttery and so richly pigmented as well. And I just think this color story is stunning. If you love green eyeshadows, I think you're really gonna love this. I think this palette was $9.99. It was on sale, so I'm not sure what the original price was, but as of the time of this video it's still listed as $9.99 so I was very pleasantly surprised by this one I definitely have to play with it a little bit more I only wore it once but I think it really applied nicely and it wore for a really long time as well and then the sweetest honey palette this one is a little bit larger I believe it was $12.99 and this doesn't really scream honey to me necessarily. I was thinking Sweet as Honey would be kind of more like that um, ColourPop honey palette that they came out with, some yellows and mustardy colors. And this one definitely is not that, but um, I'll read you the description and what they say. It says, a new take on neutrals featuring fresh picked shades of peachy pinks, corals, mauves, bronzes, and pops of purples that will have you looking as sweet as honey. Besides mattes, there are also some incredible glitters you may have never seen before. Laser blue and green duochrome glitter with deep galaxy purple and pink glitter and something that will make you go wow every shade features the latest technology ultra micron base a proprietary blend of ingredients that gives each shade its velvety texture rich color serious staying power and blendability because with shades like these you'll want to blend the perfect sunset eye and our formula makes it so easy to transition shades like a pro so just like the secret palette I thought that this one was really really nice these matte shades are so smooth when you swatch them I'll go ahead and show you the swatches I feel like you could even tell just looking at the swatches like how smooth they go on they're very velvety feeling they're not overly powdery there's not a lot of fallout again these shimmer shades none of them were like that flaky weird texture everything feels almost like a cream shadow they're so like velvety and rich so for a brand that I've never heard of and it's affordable I was very very impressed with this palette and I do really like the colors in here too despite it not being like an actual honey palette and speaking of that actually I just got an email that they came out with a new yellow palette that does look very much like the ColourPop one. It's in the same line as this, so I believe it's $9.99 as well, and it is more of like a yellowy palette, so just wanted to put that out there. I can always link that down below too if you want to check that out. But anyway, if you guys have tried anything from Focalore, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below and get your thoughts on the brand. I think I definitely might try some more. There was so many palettes on their website that looked really beautiful, so I'm going to use these a little bit more, but if you'd like to see a video on them as well, maybe with some looks, let me know. And then the last two palettes I want to talk about are these new ones from Profusion. These are their 20th anniversary nine shade glitter palettes. They have a gold version and then a rose version. They're $10 each, but you can also get them in a bundle for I think $17.98. So it brings the price of each one down to like nine bucks, I think. Um, these are full glitter palettes. So if you're not into glitter, you're probably not gonna like these, but I was really impressed with the glitters in general, the formula of the glitters. I felt like they held together really well in a swatch. And a couple weeks ago when I got these, I did try one on my eyes and I was 
really pleasantly surprised by just how well the glitter stuck to my eye. I didn't really need any glitter glue or anything like that, and it just showed up amazingly. And again, I'm not super into glitter, but I do think it's fun to play with every once in a while. So let me just show you some swatches of these. This one is the gold palette. Isn't it so gorgeous? I love the shade Cheers, which is like the fifth shade in. That one was probably my favorite, and I also love the shade Dance, which is the third one in from the right. This one is like a really deep brown glitter, just not something that you see every day. And then here's the rose palette, and oh my goodness, this one is so beautiful too. The second shade in from the left, applause, and then the third shade, which is the one next to it, sequin, it's like that purple. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. This one also has those rosy pinks, it has that bright turquoise, the bright blue. It's so gorgeous. If you're into glitter, you definitely do not want to miss these. They're so affordable and so beautiful as well. So anyway guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, I'd love to chat with you guys down in the comments below and just hear your thoughts on all these palettes and whether or not you've tried them, whether you've found some of the ones that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.